Okay, I'm Gareth Taylor. I'm a mining engineer, 40 years of gold mining um, all over Africa. It took a lot of convincing from Abby to get me to come here because I've listened to so much talk about artisanal mining. Um, all of it obviously interested and all of it about trying to find solutions, but just talk. To be honest, when we started the first session, I thought we were into a talking session, but I think we've identified some really important issues. Uh, I wouldn't have done them this way, so I've learned a lot through the process. Um, but most of all, I now understand that this is part of a process with, with a real end goal in mind. And hope, I, you know, I re have real hope that the work we're doing is going to help us reach that end goal. So. Uh, very worthwhile for me. I think the people in the room are probably a lot less political. You know, they they really are, you've got some real players, some real artisanals themselves, who bring gravitas. Uh, it would be nice if we could listen to them speak. You know, and I I think those are the most important people. You know, this this is very real. You know, a very real human issue. Um, but even the people who represent NGOs are not rabbit NGOs and they're not, they're not too touchy-feely about it. I think everybody has an understanding that it's time to take some real action. Um, and then it, I, I think the other side of it is there's a very good range of people, as I say, from the workers themselves, if you like, right to people who understand policy perhaps more than they understand the work. Uh, but for whatever reason, I suppose it's the selection of the candidates. I think they gel well and work together. There's, there hasn't there hasn't been too much friction, and it's all been positive comment. Well, personally, what I'd like to see, what I didn't come here to get, but I, I'm encouraged to think it might be a possibility, is I tend to see the solutions as being commercial solutions rather than policy solutions. Or, so what I would like to get out of it, and probably in a, in a private conversation, is there, there are a lot of barriers to financing for artisanal miners. You know, who they are, um, the kinds of money that we spoke about this morning, you know, are very small in mining terms, but they're absolutely massive uh, in artisanal terms and in risk of payback terms. So I'd like to come away with some idea of how can, can there be a system put in place where artisanals who can prove on a much less uh, rigorous scale than you would for a normal mining investment, that they have the ability, the knowledge, and the systems to use the money effectively and to pay it back. Um, we were discussing the role of donors. Donors are important, but I don't think they're, long to, they're gonna give us a long-term solution. The only solution is if artisanal miners who, who may be uneducated people, but they're not stupid people, can be given the chance to earn the money and therefore earn the, the almost the self-respect and pride of being able to pay borrowings back through profit and success. You know, I, I, would, I, I voted for vulnerability um, and government, but as we've debated it today and gone through it, at least from my perspective, the solutions where I see them being required and if my solutions are correct, I think addressing the government issues just about address everything because it is about inclusion. It, for me, it's about a, a, a bottom-up driven formalization rather than a top-down with government. But it's also about understanding the commercial potential for government, uh, for potential lenders and for the artisanals themselves. And as soon as you've dealt with that, in other words, you've created a commercially successful business um, at, a, at their level. Well, what are the issues, you know? Effectively, as far as I'm concerned, they're on their own then. They're not um, in need of livelihoods assistance. They may be in need of, like any other business, a bit of consulting or a bit of support when, and if the, the situation requires. So I might be simplifying it a little bit, but that's how I see it. 